everyone. We're back in my kitchen with Carter Purchasing Kalsa. Hi there. And today we have a very special treat for you. We're going to make yogi tea. KP, tell us about yogi tea. Yogi tea is a traditional formula from India. It's a warming combination of spices that enhances digestion, increases circulation throughout the body, and pumps up the immune system. So in my house, we drink this, this tea every single day. It's a, a six ingredients that have broad spectrum action for every system in your body, literally. Slightly warming, delicious. It's a good substitute for other less healthy kinds of things that you might otherwise uh, be using, and it's tasty. What's in Yogi Tea? Well, Yogi Tea is this combination of six uh, herbs. Uh, the first uh, three are cinnamon, cardamom, and cloves, all warming uh, kinds of remedies, as we said. Cinnamon is a warming digestion uh, enhancer that has good taste, a little bit of uh, benefit for blood sugar, and um, a little bit uh, pain relieving. Uh, cardamom is one of the world's most expensive spices, a delicious uh, seed from uh, India. It's a member of the ginger family, a seed pod from a type of ginger plant, a relative of the ginger uh, that we eat, particularly good for enhancing digestion, reducing gas, and it increases mental clarity, mental alertness, and cognition, proper uh, thinking and uh, intellect. Uh, clove, another uh, tropical spice that warms up digestion, reduces gas, increases the digestive function, and is good for uh, warming up sort of uh, stiff and cold, crackly, unlubricated uh, joints. Uh, black pepper is the fourth uh, spice, uh, the most well-regarded blood purifying medicine in uh, Asia. Black pepper has a special affinity for the sinuses, helping to its medicine to go there and helping to relieve sinus congestion. Black pepper is a digestive aid uh, and an immune enhancer as well, mild circulation enhancer. Number five is ginger, which Ayurveda calls the universal medicine. So there's nothing in Ayurveda that doesn't benefit from, uh, from ginger. So a mild digestion enhancer, again, but very health enhancing for all the systems of your body, including immune function, has a special affinity for the uterus. So it's used for menstrual cramps and for the joints. So it's very well known as an arthritis remedy for osteoarthritis. The sixth ingredient is actually black tea. We're going to put in a very small amount of black tea, a tiny proportion. It's only a quarter teaspoon per cup, but according to the original recipe, that black tea is there to amalgamate the formula or synergize the other uh, ingredients, and it adds a little bit uh, to the taste. We're gonna cook all that up, then we'll add some milk, bring it back to a boil, and uh, you have typical kind of Indian style chai, but with a lot more emphasis on the medicinal ingredients, a higher quantity of those medicinal ingredients, and a lot, lot less of the uh, black tea. This is a recipe for four cups of yogi tea. We've added the first five ingredients. Uh, we brought it to a boil, then we allowed it to simmer. Now it's finished simmering and we're going to add the black tea. Here's our black tea, quarter teaspoon per cup. We'll let that just uh, work its way into the mixture a little bit. Now we're ready for the milk. So this tea is uh, right at a high simmer and now when we add the milk it's going to go back uh, down to cool but we'll just leave the burner on and then allow it to come back to boiling and that's it. You just want to bring it right up to boiling and stop right at that point. We can see that the, that the milk is just coming right up to that boiling point. Uh, I'm watching it very, very carefully because in a moment it's just going to start to come to that point where it's going to froth up. I'm going to be very quick and I'm going to grab it from the burner and we're all set. That's good. After the milk was added to the yogi tea, the milk boiled and came up to a frothing point. We took it off the, the burner and now we're going to strain out the solid ingredients. Very simple. We're just going to pour it right through the strainer. Easy enough. That's all we need to do there. Ready for drinking. You can add some honey to taste if you like. This is... Okay, that's good. Let's check it out. Oh, that's fantastic. KP, thank you so much for sharing this recipe that your mentor shared with you, this traditional recipe. Thanks for having me over. I'm glad you liked it. All right.